Oh, CX, Philip, do you want to start building the new ship? Yes, the successful. new ship, right. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, I will work on figuring out how to make the exterior of this look all right. No, no, no. I have a little question. It looks question. cool, Dan. man. It looks cool, right? So if I grind out this square here, oh, and put a conveyor square in its base. No, that's annoying because it's off center then. You want to grind out the one that it's uh, the landing is attached to. This is a bit more sedate. Okay, it's not going up. Well, you might need to use your gyro a bit to lift your back wheels. How do I do that? Well, with your mouse. Wiggle, wiggle. I mean, your mouse controls your gyro, right? Does it? If you nose down, it'll lift okay. your back wheels up. Ooh, okay, got it. You're going off he's the up. edge. Uh, okay, and I'm up, I think. Uh, oh, uh, oh. You just need to go over there the go. join. Oh, oh. So it's, uh, watch out. Oh, yeah, this is a bit tight. Yeah. But I think it's successful. Okay, now we need to, we, now we need to put a connector in. <laughs> Can we not make bumpers like at the edges of a uh, bowling alley? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I so genuinely... I mean, he would probably... It's like curbs, right? He would just drive over them. True. <laughs> I mean, if you, I could put, how much space have you got at the front? Oh, like loads. Yeah, I, I think under this corner would be the best place for the for connector. I mean, the, the connector can only be at a whole block height increment, I feel really. we are not quite, yes. um, yeah, but like I can put it on the, the back here. With regards to how this area is working. Uh, oh, I mean, this, this is the airlock I mean, like, area. like I can oh. have it just sort of on top of where this camera is. Or yeah, something. I'm just thinking in terms of how the top and bottom That's are what I mean. to join together. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, where, where uh, well, we could airlock? try and put in a small grid connector. Do the rotor trick. Um, I'm mainly thinking we just want to put it no, in a I mean, bit further. Like, how big? How big are the sure, large blocks? Right? It's only like that, I could put okay. one. I could put it under where the red dwarf sign is, couldn't I? Or would that not work? So again, well, the problem is, if, pop... if it's there, oh, it's it won't line course. up with the large grid, right? These, sorry. Like, one block in front of either of these is the places you can have a connector. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, so if it's uh, yeah, in that gap mean. under the red dwarf, it's not going to line up with either of them. Okay. How are you doing, Philip? Uh, all right. Uh, I was just wandering around fixing things and building things and so on. You're good. Uh, mm. How is Suz doing as well? I'm down at the iguana thing filling ah. up storage containers. Uh, Mike, you can connect now if you roll oh, back okay. a bit. Cool. Oh, really? Mike, <laughs> is your thing one too high on the small grid? I think it is. No, I think it'll be fine from there. But you do get a little bit of slop in the connection. I think it'll be fine. Is it one too high? I mean, if it's one too high, I'd prefer having it one lower because then I can leave well, the red dwarf. If you, if you, if you <laughs> find the size of it, Mike, and have a look, you'll uh, see yeah, it. Yeah, if you want to move it down one, I think it will work one lower. I think it will work either where it is or one lower. I am happy to submit Dan's um, rated judgment on this particular matter. I, I like okay. it. It's, it's only my. Uh, I'm only judging it by eye. The proof is in the connecting. Connection. Yeah. <laughs> So, hmm. I hope you are uh, thinking about the airtightness, Doug, because I wasn't intending this to be an airtight ship. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, okay, that's just going like, to add that more no. <laughs> Well, yeah, I, 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 I was about to say, I think it looks like you're trying to build like more of an umbrella than a... So, for um, instance, we, we don't need the airlock I've just built if this isn't an airtight ship. That, that, um, that is true, yes. Yeah, so, um, exactly, so... Does, does, yeah... So... Hmm. Okay, I'm now um, satisfied with the Zorro. If you guys want that. any more help? Basically, okay. So that the easiest way probably to keep this to make this work is to move the point where this like narrows up one block, which basically involves um, rebuilding it. Hold on. <laughs> Fine. Let's do that. Um, I think that. Well, no, look, only the front of the ship has to be. Yeah, that old one or two. 
That's true, okay. yes. Oh, oh, look, look, this, it's like the beak fisher. Watch what I'm doing here. This is what we want, isn't it? Just one big airtight buffer. No? Have you... Yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, I'm a little bit worried that you're planning for the uh, hydrogen thrusters to stick out of the bottom as opposed to being, like, recessed into the hull. It's better to recess the bottom, we'll sort but out we, later. Can, we can... Like, we can do either way. Because those conveyors are, like, entirely optional. Uh, I see you have the Pedro called the ship Duke Duke. I have. <coughs> I did ask for name suggestions. So if I was to grind away this foot that it's all standing on, <laughs> that uh, would be that annoying. would be very bad. <laughs> it would be a uh, another job for the Trinity Porter. No, <laughs> uh, I think the Trinity Porter would struggle somewhat. Our current mass is 362,000 kilograms. As bad as Lex Luthor stealing 40 cakes. That it would be, it would be about that terrible, yes. Uh, I feel like this would be better with a counterweight. Or if I'd done Splitsy's thing and have it in like two halves. In fact, I almost feel bad that it worked the way it is, because then I, now I don't have an excuse to go and make it in two halves. Oh, something weird just happened. Nope. And now the ship has changed colour. I have done a degree of but exterior decoration. In the moment when it happened, everything hung for, an eye, uh, for quite a while. I think I preferred the blue, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what colour would you like it though? I think blue was too boring, so we've already got some support of blue. I mean, this is, this is a, quite a crystalline ship now, isn't it? I mean, I think okay. it was quite what nice. What would you like instead? Oh, okay, I can get used to it. I can get used to it. I'm all up for the fully disco vehicle. Ooh, I can make it a bit more, bit more neon if you like. How about this? Ooh, that is quite more neon, yeah. That is, that, that's also good. I, I enjoy the reflections from the wind turbines at the top. Right, there we go. That, that is where it's at. <coughs> oh yeah, I see. Oh, hello, bright purple disco Do you approve, mobile. Sis? Yes, it looks excellent. 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 So, I like her bright purples. I do. Uh, that, 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 that is quite um, something. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's, it is quite that... something. Uh, uh, I suppose I should, like, actually. I'm not, I'm not really sure if I should continue in the color or not, but. This is a great color, and you should continue. Don't you think this, this is really sort of speaks. This is us, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> isn't this what we'd do if we went into space? Would someone I mind don't... dying and respawning in the Duke Duke just to experience the. Coming back to life <laughs> in the pinkness. <laughs> what do you think it's like being born again? I, I don't it's know. It's like experiencing born your trip. Disco. Yeah, your trip through the vulva. Right, <laughs> I think I'm going to go to bed. Okay, so, yeah. well, get Thank in your cryo tube then. Duking. We will oh, not go to space see. before next time. So, sorry, Doug, I don't think you answered my question about how we are going to now join up the airtight bit with the non um, I got the skeleton helmet. Ooh, I don't think I had one of those. Oh, I should totally just style this after the ship from um, the princess's ship from Redline. That would be like entirely in keeping with the uh, color scheme. Hmm. I feel like this ship is maybe ready to have some thrusters brought to it. Yeah, we could probably attach some at this point. I have built some of the merge blocks. Uh, I also feel like the ship is maybe a bit small for all of us to be in it. What? I don't know. I think there's space for us to just stand around. I, I mean, we're going to want some cryopods as well, aren't we? Oh, true. Build them, or build them up this back wall, we can just fly up to the cryopods. Oh, geez, like when the light catches it, it is like actually ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just found. I just flew around <laughs> just and coming and back. the light catch it. You just like uh, fly, you know, near the I think we're looking in space, weren't we? Yeah. I mean, you're not going to miss this, are you? <laughs> oh, you've well, got windows. Put those next to all the other thrusters. Yes. We're, mi we're missing our windows, yeah. No, Mike's got windows on the Red Dwarf. Mike. Yeah. I want to progress this further. So this this should all be like airtight, like, you know, from floor to ceiling here. So oh, the I main can, thing... Out so I can see you. Where are you? Here. So that like this whole thing here yeah. should be airtight. Okay. Um, I think this no bit may need... Huh? 
the bottom of the ship is going to be open to space at the moment, isn't it? Yes, yes. So I want to basically, like, the Goodbye, way that these walls... No, no. Good night. night. Take well. Okay, so these walls, like, you know, these bits here as they come down, I think I'll put... Uh, actually, I think we should try and put windows in here. Let's mm. see how that works. Moment. You do still enjoy your windows, don't you? Yeah, windows are nice. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice. I mean, they are nice. But I agree with that. What's everyone else up to then? Is Mike's car working? Uh, I mean, I think it's been working the whole time. He's just making it heavier so that it will stop working eventually. Oh no, I'm making it uh, to be honest more not... defensible. And oh, wow. like the weight is not a problem for it, to be honest. Well, I mean, well, it might be a problem for me. If Why? It has enough fuel to test fly it. Okay. Anyway, I think this is. I think it is now basically re repaired so mm. i feel like you guys could do with more a bit more light in the bar give it a more let's give it a test and see what uh, so we're now up to one and a half million kilograms okay you haven't tried picking up the uh duke duke yet though have you <laughs> i i didn't realize i was building a hangar for that as well <laughs> that's the next one Oops. Oh, look at that. Sus, Sus, what happened? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, uh, I'm on the Zorro. Yeah, that's where the explosion I tried was. I my ship and it fell down. Was it? Oh. Because the dampeners were off. Just Heaney ship. You have to put, turn the dampeners it. on immediately before you unlock. Wait, no, they're on. The dampeners are definitely on. So just to get to space, are we oh, going to I add need a jar, well. If you want to rotate it, it will need a gyro, yes. That would be it. Right, let's go, <laughs> let's go, let me quickly stick a gyro on it. Mm. I feel like you might need more up thrust than this as well. And there I was thinking about the function of it. Oh well. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you always think that until you fly. It's just how, how the game works. No! Yeah, no! What happened? <laughs> it just kind of skipped off the edge of the hangar there. What are you missing now, Ed? Um, well, I took I took some of the I took the gun turrets off so I had a chance to um try and fix it up. Then I um fell off the edge. So I yeah, think you I don't just have enough th up thrust. Then give me a moment to attach some more thrusters. Uh, I tried. You can still succeed. Oh no, hang on, that works. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. But, I, I'm being serious. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. I mean, if you build up the I first am, time your spaceship crashes in Space Engineers, you might as well just not have bought the game. I was indeed joking, let's be clear. Okay, right. So I think this is now ready. Aha. Uh -huh. Wow. I've heard that one before. Well, it was, and then it got blown up. <laughs> I mean, it got blown up. <laughs> this is this is the the weasel voice again. Well, no, well, no, it, it did get blown up. Like it got blown up by enemies. It wasn't me. Cra I didn't crash it. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, I have crashed it, but I, it mostly it's been blown up by enemies. Uh, that's, that was Heaney's ship. Three, because at least you didn't crash it into. Getting back in the cockpit turns the dampeners off. No, no, it doesn't. They were off. You left them off. Energy critical. When it was on the ground, they were off. I got in and looked. Oh no, no, sorry, guys. In our ship, Mr. Heaney. Would you like to not be in our ship? I would like to not be in your ship. Oh, no. But it seems that I've lost enough, um... <laughs> you know, you Where even are you? <laughs> Ow! 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 I just hear, like, a series of bangs coming on, going on around. Oh, I'm, I'm to gonna build. ride your ship, actually. Here we go. Oh, there it is. You definitely know you need more up thrust, Dad. I do, but I also don't know how to stop it moving now. Just press Z uh, to turn the inertial Z. dampeners off. Yeah, but he might not actually have like thrusters functioning in all directions anymore. 
I certainly don't. That's what oh, I yeah. discovered. How about that? I don't have backward thrust anymore. No. I was saying to press I... it to turn it off, not on. Because it was already on the ground, right? It's not going any further than that. Yeah, the tinted windows definitely are like a propos for the uh, general aesthetic of this uh, ship. I'm glad you bought into the. Are you just uh, adding pink lifestyle. bits on funsies, Dan? Well, I'm not adding any pink bits. Oh, somebody's adding pink bits for funsies. I'm going to assume it's Rev then. It is I. Okay, so the main question is what to do at the frontier with the uh... Yeah, I was I was hoping that we can continue this line from the cockpit all the way up in glass at the top. Have a sort of central glass line. Uh how do you mean sorry? Or just just huge plate windows at the front would be fine too. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna go for? Yeah. It's certainly an option. So, Give me a sec. So just 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 on the air tightness question though. Yes. Can just go back over how you've achieved this, because I don't think you have achieved it. Uh, so I think the, okay, so like the bottom here, like, they'll need some uh, joining up, but I think you can, like, you can basically just fill it yeah, in with the what, stuff like on the top. What are you doing over here? This is, this is failing the airtight question, is it, or is, is it this block here you're relying on? Uh, so, I do like... This. Yeah. yeah, so you want to put, you want, we want to fill in like the bottom, like I haven't filled in the floor yet. Mm. But uh, like from the ceiling to those glass windows, it should be airtight. Um, so except for at the, the back. It's line here, isn't it? That joins airtight, so this bit. Yeah. This bit isn't yet, here. Mm -hmm. And you're saying two vertical blocks will make that airtight? So we'd have, let's have a go at that, shall we? Sometimes blocks sort of place and sometimes they don't, you know what I mean? Yes. Ah, uh, so yeah, ah uh, yes, because you've got the uh, yeah. cargo container. You see what I mean? Awkward, yeah, right? well, the, bottom, the cargo container doesn't do anything in terms of air tightness, do they? Yes, exactly. I was trying uh, to build a second bulkhead, but it just failed. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so the bulkhead needs to be like here. Okay, yes, no, so the question is how do you get that airtight there? Yeah, so we should be we should be airtight here, I think. Uh where is her? Like this at this back only. at this back here point here. So we could get rid of these interior walls. Hang on, just bear with me, show me. You can airtight uh, uh, room here, okay? Yeah, basically, like, th this line here should be airtight. Well, once I've so got the, the bottom you in. you want only one... You only want one um, airlock, then. You don't need two airlocks, so, yeah? No, I don't think we need okay, two. Okay, fine, let's grind down. Well, I mean, sorry, like, out to the... The back can be not airtight, but I, it's just the... Um, yeah. Yeah, these... Uh... Well, I, I built it with symmetrical airlock, but they have... Ah, okay. No, no, it's fine. We yeah. only need one side, so... Yeah. All right, so I just need to move this around a bit here as well. And then fix up the inside and outside. Oh, and this, if this isn't airtight, it's going to be, like, <laughs> a nightmare. I mean, we can put we block in for one if we need to. Yeah, we should do. Wow. Is that the mod that tells you where the air tightness is not? Yes. Indeed. Oh, uh, it sounds a bit cheaty to me. Mm, you won't be saying that after you like... spent like an hour <laughs> trying to find where the air tightness is not. You you haven't seen, or you, you probably have seen like some of the, uh, like, you know, some of the game's ideas about what is and isn't airtight. Okay, okay. They are, it, it's sometimes not. Uh... Now, the big question is though, where's the toilet seat going to go? You know, you can actually have like Prime the whole toilet. The uh, well, we haven't got space for a whole toilet, Dan, but it's a nice. The whole thing. toilet takes up the same amount of space as the toilet seat, Rev. Does it? Yep. It's one block. Wow. <laughs> and it gives you nice little doors for privacy. Okay, I, okay, we seem to have a storm coming in. Okay, so is there something I can actually do then now? Because wow. I've oh, I don't know, ship. Mike, is there something you can actually do? Uh, you can help <laughs> us grinding down the things that aren't hydrogen thrusters downstairs. Oh, I know what we're putting in this ship. Is, is, this, your, is this your ship head? Where are you, Mike? Um, uh, yeah. yeah. 
the solicit the solicit one that suddenly got a lot more engines on it. It used to have <laughs> on the side, now it just has engines. What's the plan? What's the goal of it? Well, it, 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 in the end, I'm going to turn it into a gunship. But okay. for now, since this is my first flying ship, um, I see. I, oh. as you have heard, I've had a, I've had a bit of a journey trying to um, trying to make it function. That was a loud clang. That's just me. Well, you're a loud so, clang. Oh yeah. <laughs> Why am I, I am going quite downstairs? Happy that I have a successful flight in my ship. Good. Congratulations. I might need to take off some of this this nice sort of finial on the bottom and replace it with a landing gear so I can actually land on things. Oh wow. The shadows in this game are really cool. I just flew 500 meters to check out a giant structure. I discovered the shadow of the wind turbine. <laughs> I hope you've seen the improvements I've made, uh, Doug. Yes, it's quite hard not to see them, in fact. <laughs> Once seen, you cannot unsee it. Do they come out through <laughs> the windows as well or not? Uh, I believe so, yes. Uh, I feel there, there's going to be one flaw with this cockpit design. What, what is that? Oh, actually, okay. You might Does it have one flaw? Are you asking that not to do when you, No, when you get out, hmm. um, are you going to wind up inside the ship or outside the ship? Oh, I see. Is that, is that always <laughs> fixed? I don't uh, know, because... So usually you get out kind of in the same relation to the uh, cockpit yeah. as when you got in. Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, that door okay. Sometimes it seems to go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you will know in this case if it goes wrong, right? It's, uh... Yes, you will indeed. <laughs> I do like the rotating lights on the top, actually. Oh, I was doing that just to uh, second people. But... <laughs> no, I think they're cool. <laughs> I like having I lots of them. I think it's good. I, it's this like, sorry, I just like, I have a bit of a thing for flashing lights. This is pretty close to being in theory airtight. Yeah, is, is it worth um, build, mining the ice downstairs? It probably uh, will be, yes, because okay. you'll want to yes. fill up those big hydrogen tanks on the... Indeed, um, yeah. Doodad. Have they're, you got an O2H2 like generator, generator on there? We have we have two O2H2 generators ah. on there. Are we going to the flight research station? Yeah. Not going. Why are you going I'm to the flight going. research station? Is there anything left of the flight yeah, research I'll, station? I'll, I thought we'd probably uh, not. not. I, I I just was heading for a random thing and then realised that wasn't the thing I meant to be heading for. It has a bit of a bus or kind of beluga whale feel to it now, doesn't it? From the side. <laughs> hmm. Do we have a ship with a drill? No, but I no. I said I thought you would want to make an actual, not a not a ship drill, oh. but a. A, a standalone drilling operation downstairs. Oh, there. like a fixed rig. Yeah. Mm. Quickest, I'm not sure no? that's not sure how workable Maybe. that is. Well, it's very workable. Let's try and pretend what you've done at the top is a feature, shall we? Uh, <laughs> Doug? Uh, what? Let's try and <laughs> pretend that what you said was polite, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't you know, the, you know the funny pink ribs at the top of the ship. <laughs> oh, I don't. I, mean, I don't know. Pink ribbing sounds like a feature to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> and the pink ribs at the front of the ship. Yeah. Could they presumably they could be windows now, couldn't they? Uh, no, they couldn't. No. Okay. What? Why is that? Uh, is it because it's a different type of window? What, what, it's because it? the uh, the windows actually move out by half a block. Okay. You can see. I, I quite liked it actually as a feature. Okay, it looks that's fine. More I was interesting. Put a stairs up the top of it is what I was thinking. And... Uh, so how did you wind up doing this? Oh, you used the uh, oh this funky thing, light mm. armor half sloped corner base. You don't like that? Oh, that one. Mm. No. I uh, wouldn't no, have I used like it. it. It's I'd, just uh... I'd have probably made it join up with the other blocks rather than have the little shelf. But like, the, well, there's nothing wrong with having a shelf. That's fine. Well, no, we can cut the grade into this one next if we need to, I guess. Uh, I do tend to build, like, things that look a bit like boat hulls because I just like having all of these different angled blocks line up with each other. Yeah, which is, I think, nice, but... It's nice, but it's like, yeah, you could, we you don't have to do it all the time, right? I'm a bit worried that Mike uh, disappeared and been so... Oh, He's it? probably getting no, another yeah. unknown signal and, like, depositing the Red Dwarf into the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> into no. the crater. No, no I, actually, here. I don't think he's depositing the red dwarf into the crater because I think he'd have to ask me how to open the gate. Wow. <laughs> the um, the ship, you're not going to miss it if you're zoomed out a few kilometers, put it that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can't hear me, right? 
Yeah. Um, yeah. It renders yeah. nicely at this one. I was just like helping do mining and stuff. Oops, there's one here. Helping, I'm helping. <laughs> Me IRL. Oh, it's airtight. It's airtight. Wow. Holy smokes. How did you establish that? Uh, you the light that? on the air vent went green. Wow. That is quite amazing. What are you What are you doing, Doug? Sorry, I'm uh, just uh, recharging. Oh, no, okay. that, that went wrong and I wound up outside. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to open my helmet. Lovely. Delicious OC. That is not what I wanted. Oh, well. Uh, it is what I said. I do need to vent the cockpit. Ah, uh, yes. I did say do I need to vent, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, you do need to get... Ah, uh, that's kind of inconvenient. It's <laughs> a good place for it. Isn't it? Yeah, you just need, well, you kind of wind up with the, like, conveyor tube going all the way up here. If I can, uh, if we oh, you could put just put, yeah. oh, yeah, you could put just but put I, a vent on I it and make it oh, depressurize. Uh, okay, okay good, I got back in in time. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. this window is, like, on the inside. Um, just I'm also... that window up. Um, we're on blue. What? What is blue on the air vent? Uh, blue uh, that means is it's set to depressurize. Oh yes, right. sorry. Uh, yeah. Which I did just to save the O2. I got a wood suit. Woof. Yeah. Got wood. Suit. Yeah, we have, uh, we're 422 tons, and we have no no hydrogen on board yet, but going pretty well. Oh, I see what you did with the medical room. Um, <laughs> you don't like the it? The block tool that, uh, and grinder. It's really interesting. Doesn't seem... Oh, uh, yes, yes, got him. I think it works well. It works for me. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. Yeah, I got it now. Well, I, get, well, I, I hey, guess Ed. you can plummet in that way. Look over but, your left uh, shoulder. Um... I would be, I would do that if I could could just get out of the cockpit. Oh hello. Doesn't seem super necessary to have it that way around. <laughs> I've got to say. <laughs> oh man, why did I teach them all to face palm? <laughs> like it, uh, you could very well like have the same, you know. I like those shelves <laughs> for standing on, or running boards, or whatever you want to call them. I am coming for the tour of the pink, the Duke, Duke, I think pink the, invader. Uh... <laughs> I mean, if I went to that shop on Chesterton Road, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to buy one of these. Okay, uh, where should I come in for the tour? From the airlock door, please. The one that's nearer the Zorro? Yep. Uh, okay, I appear to have just depressurized everything, but fine. No, you should just depressurize the airlock. Yeah, it should be just oh, man, you need sensors on this airlock. Yeah. Oh, the somewhere. pink is just so much more when you're inside, isn't it? <laughs> it's great, isn't and it? And the disco lights, don't forget. I like the lights. Like, I, I, I'm just, I'm not complaining about the lights. I think they're yeah. fine, even on the inside. Uh, I like the little kind of gallery up here where you can look down on the crew as they're performing their duties. I, I am just, just, yeah, I am just making it into more of a gallery. Hold on, I just need to uh, turn off the noise suppression thing so I can go. <sighs> Okay, yeah, so we have we have this like mezzanine thing where you know the the highborn can uh, sure. inspect the crew doing their duty. Uh, okay, what happens if I go through this door further back? Uh, what's going, going on with this? Airlock. What's going on with these stairs that like don't go anywhere? 
I'm just building a way to the up onto the up onto the upper level. Okay. Need to think about. Okay, so this airlock here. Yep, close it behind you, go into the next one. Oh it's a bit dark in here. <laughs> Sorry, is it not disco enough in there? I mean it's quite pink still, but it's also dark. <laughs> it's like a I think disco lights all over the walls where I think it's gotta be. It's like a lesbian nightclub, I think. Although I don't I think that I think he's left have you left the door behind you open? Well, I've left the outer door open. There you go, I've closed it. Alright. You need sensors. The sensors on the doors. Okay. It's not very... Uh, there's not really a lot of facilities around here. No. No, I'm going to add the toilet, but I, I'm not quite sure where yet. The main thing is, like, the uh, the medical room is back there as well. Okay, so you res... Where even is... Oh, yeah, I've just had the medical room. So you respawn in no oxygen. Are you quite sure? Yep. Oh, there's also some point. unwelded blocks up here. Oh, really? What's what's? Yeah, going yeah, on? yeah. Bunch of interior blocks, like quite high up. Yeah, we're not. Oh, oh those. you just defracturized <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah, well, it helps to um, have the. Uh... You need the sensors or the scripts. Uh, are you planning on putting a grab gen in there? Do we even have grab gens? No, no, I don't think we were. Do you really I... want a grab gen? Do we even have the ability and the component? I think so. Yeah, well, we do. You really want it? I mean, there's not much point in having stirs in the mezzanine thing if you're not going to have gravity. <laughs> also, I it, mean, it will. What it will. Parked on Earth? It will want more seats in this bridge area. Like, enough for well, one each. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you say that, but I thought people might like to sit on a bench or, you know. Yeah, yeah. You, I mean, they don't have to be these passenger seats. You could have uh, the sofas like I've put in the Zorro. I like the, the little lounge thing with the sofas in the front. So anyway, look how far we have come on our little mission here. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, if I go on the, the GPS things, I can probably tell you how far we've come. No, but I think you can visually the see The crash it site is 18 crash kilometers site. away. Two, That's how far we've this come. This big, sparkly pink meaty thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a pink meaty thing now. That's a bit more disturbing. It is It is like one of those things you could buy from Chester's and Rhodes. Uh -huh. So from my prior pod, I shall bid all the viewers good night. And I shall leave you with news that um, something, 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 Red Planet Martian Door. <laughs> You've been saving up that whole time. <laughs> nope. Oops. Oops. Oh, look at that. Suz, Suz, Suz what happened? No, that was, no, I'm... No. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was Healy's ship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? Well, I'm still connected. No, I did press the button, but it, it decided it was going to uh, wait a little bit before.